I used to talk to E Day a lot. A lot of people don't know that. I used to talk to E Day a lot. I didn't did a blog about E Day, didn't get too in depth, you know. But I'm gonna tell you something. I used to talk to E Day a lot. I thought E Day was a dope guy. I thought he was real underrated, and I didn't say it in previous blogs. I believe Rondo getting locked up slowed E Day down. I believe Rondo had a lot of the fame on him. I believe if he'd have stayed home, clouded up super big, got on, the cameras wouldn't have no choice but to recognize people he'd be around, his crew, people who around him every day. They would have noticed that E Day was a legend and a lot of shit was created by him. I think he would have took off. In my opinion, the drill game was cheated out of E Day. Let's just be honest. I believe he was a legend like Lil Durk and Cheap Keep. Um, but I used to talk to him a lot, you know, he used to call me, we used to speak on Instagram. Right now you can see we have a long list of DMs on Instagram. Uh, E-Day was one of the first guys that opened up my eyes to telling me how the internet had instigate shit against people. <clears throat> he used to tell me that the internet was trying to instigate shit between him and 600 Breezy. A lot of people don't know that, that, you know, 600 Breezy and E-Day was going through some shit on the internet a little while ago. I think some brotherly shit. Remember, E-Day went through it with Dadarachi too. It was like some brotherly shit, but the internet harped on that. E-Day told me one time on Instagram, I think this is strong. He told me, man, I can't even post nothing. And I thought about that, like, damn, that's strong. Like, any comment he posts. You know, anything he leave, he comment on another comment. The the blog sites are taking it and making videos around it and shit. And I understood that. But he understood that he was a legend and people want to know about him. You know, me rocking with Tay 600, supporting Tay 600 irritated E-Day. E-Day did not like me supporting Tay 600. I'm going to tell you that he felt like... I was supporting the wrong cause, and I told him I don't got no fight in none of this shit, bro. I'm going to support you just like I support Tay. He didn't really like that at the moment. I mean, I understood, but he didn't like that. I'm going to tell you, though, with Breezy, though, he used to tell me how Breezy, his brother, he loved Breezy. Breezy, not his enemy. He don't know why people making these videos, these blogs. You know, he was caught in the comment section, and, uh... Saying some shit, you know, it was something like, you know, he ain't a real leader, and you know, I guess he liked it and left like a thumbs up or something. Fans took that blog all about it. Oh, he they just sneaked the 600 breeze. He hit me. He thought I was behind that, and I told him I wasn't. Look at that YouTube channel. He noticed it like, oh, my bad, bro. He was telling me, like, bro, I, that shit irked him, you know. I do think when Drake came in and fucked with Breezy, that irritated E-Day. Not irritated him, not on no hating shit, but the fans was just so strong on the fact that I ain't fucking with Breezy and nobody else. And that shit kind of, you know, turned people a little bit. You got to understand, this people lives, this music shit, real. Drake overnight style, fucking with one of these guys, you know, shit was real. I believe that Drake fucking with Breezy brung a lot of jealousy. I don't know so much with E-Day. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying, so don't take that as what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that brung a lot of <coughs> oh, excuse me, a lot of just, you know, differences, you know, in my opinion. But I think E-Day was a dope dude, in my opinion, you know. It's fucked up. He lost his life that early in the game. But I'm going to tell you, you know, he was a cool dude. And I'm going to tell you another thing about E-Day. He used to hit me and, 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 and send me his music. Like I told people this story in another blog before. He sent me message to the street before. We talked about how the video should be and all kind of shit. And when he dropped the video, things that we talked about was in the video. I said that in the previous blog. Like, E-Day was a legend in this shit. He got real mad at me, man. Like, me and E-Day got pissed. I'm going to tell you something. E-Day told me one day, look, look. I'm finna, I'm finna tell y'all, look. E-Day got mad because I was fucking with, like, Tay 600. Like, posting his music and, you know, all the fake paperwork came out. And, you know, E-Day was mad at that. I told y'all, E-Day sent me the fake paperwork, too. He sent me the fake paperwork he thought it was real he sent me the fake paperwork uh and when i end up saying the paperwork was fake he got mad at me about that you know i got a youtube channel man i don't get fake views i don't do anything fake to my youtube channel hell if a video go viral go viral if it don't it don't i can't help it so you know by putting up fake paperwork kind of diminished me all in the comments 
hundreds of comments. True, you got fake paperwork. True, you got fake paperwork. Ah, this channel fool. He putting up fake paperwork. You know, I did a video like, look, man, I didn't know the paperwork was fake. He didn't like the fact that I insinuated he gave me the paperwork. And I understand that. But at the end of the day, you know, I can't post no fake paperwork about nobody, man. I can't be putting these type of jackets on people. Shit, that's a winner jacket. I can't put a winter jacket on a motherfucker in the summertime, you know, playing around with paperwork, man. I got to make sure I'm safe myself. So, you know, that kind of irritated E-Day, man. E-Day hit me one time in the DM and told me, look, this real shit, I'm going to tell y'all that. He told me, man, I hate to run into you one day. That's what E-Day told me. I damn shit. Ooh, shit. That's strong, E-Day. Ooh, shit. I damn E-Day, this internet shit, bro. One thing I'm going to tell you, E-Day a real ass nigga. This like some real ass shit. E-Day hit me like maybe two months later. Like, truth, I trip with you, bro. My bad, bro. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I understand. It's all love, bro. It, it, it ain't that serious type of shit. And I thought that was real as hell. You know, and then we conversated more. He used to send me music. He sent me a Takashi 69 disc. He made a song about Takashi 69. This is Takashi 69 and sent it to me for me to upload to my YouTube channel. You know, after that, we did a phone interview. Um, you know, we did more work. But I'm going to tell you, I, you got to understand, when I first started coming into culture, blogging was different. It wasn't like it was now. Remember, you had Rap Catch Up, College Kid, Fake Short Drive, sites like that. But those were just sites that was posting shit. Yeah, you had Zach TV, but he was an interviewer. He wasn't giving you his opinion on the culture. You had, like, academics, but he wasn't from Chicago. So people had blog sites. They was just used to seeing they self on the internet, screenshot, video, some voiceover or something. I was one of the first people to show his face on the Chicago blog, you know? So... I, I was I, I was looked at a little bit as policey when I first came out a blogger not a blog site I'm like one of the first bloggers in Chicago I'm not sure if people gonna tell you this man like like I, I don't want to stamp myself like you know because ain't too many people stamp me it's a lot of people blogging but ain't nobody really stamped this and said this but let's just be honest like you know I recall when I first started blogging I didn't see no bloggers I, I didn't see anybody doing what I was doing. I seen people doing what I was doing as far as with a screenshot in the video or like interviews, but when nobody talking, speaking for the culture with a face like in Chicago. Only person that was close was like Lowski being real. Lowski. He was the first blog I ever seen in my life. But I don't know if we consider that we put a small asterisk on it because you know he in the gang so he can't diss his homies he can't blog stories about his homies he can't tell you stories about his homies events about his homies so it was small asterisk because that's what like a full-time blogger that was like more of a storyteller of stories that went on in the hood i believe i was like the first blogger in the culture you know i ain't finna say i pioneered the culture but you know a lot of people don't understand i didn't see anybody doing what I was doing. I heard people because they was behind the screenshot, you know, but I didn't see any faces speaking on the culture before I started. So a lot of these guys were irritated.